boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about the butterfly life cycle. And to do that, we're going to read one of our favorite books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Now, as we're reading, I want you to pay close attention to what happens as the caterpillar changes from a tiny egg to a beautiful butterfly. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now, as we read this story, you saw the change that happened from this caterpillar. The caterpillar starts off as a little tiny egg, and then when he comes out of the egg, he is a caterpillar. After he eats and gets nice and fat, as we see right here, he builds this little shell around himself called a cocoon, or a pupa in this stage. And then after he stays inside there for a few weeks, he changes into a butterfly. And that's what makes butterfly life cycle so unique and so cool. Because as people, we start off as little people and then we get bigger into grown-ups and we're just bigger people. But caterpillars change. They change their appearance completely. They change from being these little caterpillars into these butterflies that can fly. Caterpillars can't fly. So it's a very, very interesting thing that happens. And we call it the life cycle because it starts up top with the egg and the egg hatches into a caterpillar, and then we move down and it, the, the caterpillar goes into the cocoon of the pupa, and then out of the cocoon emerges a butterfly, and the butterfly lays eggs and turn into caterpillars. So it's very interesting, and the metamorphosis, the thing that happens inside the cocoon is so cool, because inside this tiny, tiny little space, there's all these changes happening to transform that caterpillar into a butterfly. So I hope you enjoyed our lesson today on the butterfly life cycle, and I will see you kids again soon. All right, bye.